kulu cifumang si mawori si gorogoro asi gorogoro si mawori Hello, my name's Tom Morton and I'm director of Climate Care here in Kenya. And today, we're here in Hell's Gate National Park in the Rift Valley to come and see Old Karia 3 power station. This power station produces enough electricity for 300,000 homes. And it is almost unique in Kenya in that it's one of the few power stations that runs on geothermal power. This is Kenya's natural, indigenous energy source. It is displacing oil-fired power stations based in Nairobi and other parts of the country. And so is reducing carbon dioxide emissions by over 200,000 tonnes per year. Kenya has become increasingly reliant on oil to generate electricity, which both accelerates the consumption of fossil fuels and pollutes the atmosphere. Oil is also costly, and the electricity supply can be inconsistent, with frequent blackouts causing regular disruption. The Olkaria 3 geothermal project uses heat derived from the Earth's core to generate electricity, replacing the need for oil and providing a stable, cost-effective source of energy. However, attracting investment into a new technology like this can be difficult. Climate Care helped the project access carbon finance to reduce the risk and make the project viable. Selling the carbon credits generated to other companies to offset their carbon emissions has made this clean, renewable energy project possible. Your thermal resource is uh, extracted by drilling deep into the wells, about two and a half to three kilometers. From the depth, the resource itself is uh, extracted, separated into uh, liquid and gas. The resource is then taken through heat exchangers from which the heat extracted is then used using a hydrocarbon to generate electricity and rotate the turbine. The resource itself is then cooled using the air coolers at the back and the cool fluid is then taken and re-injected to a similar depth. The power generated here is clean energy and the environment within the park itself uh, is maintained. I'm Elijah Karaoke, the deputy head teacher of Narasha Primary School in Naivasha District. All Power has a electricity plant in Hellsgate National Park and it has offered employment opportunities to the local community. It has also helped the community in setting up this school apart from setting up the building and all the funding. It has also employed some teachers that are paid by the company. Can you tell us about what we have in front of us here this morning? Right now here in front of us we have Gideri, a mixture of maize and beans for the kids. Now the meal is prepared for the kids because the kids in the area come from the pastoral community and pastoral community do not engage a lot in farming therefore at times they don't have a lot of a lot of food at home the funding of the program is funded 100 percent by all power company in fact were it not for the all power the food that we are having and the number of pupils whom we are seeing in our school could be very 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 low This is Kenya's natural, indigenous energy source. So it doesn't rely on fossil fuels that are expensive, and dirty and polluting. And what's more, it runs for 98% of the time. Day in, day out. Night in, night out. Producing power for the country. We are proud at Climate Care to have been able to support this project and help with some of the technical work in taking that registration through the carbon authorities to issue those carbon credits.